Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about the unboxing of this lock weather station from DF Robot. So this is an all-in-one kit which can measure the wind speed, wind direction, temperature, humidity as well as the pressure. Also, they mentioned uh, we can add our uh, sensors to this one and we can get the data from uh, other microcontrollers like Raspberry Pi and Unihacker and uh, other ESP32 kind of a controllers. So first let's unbox this one and see what is inside this box. So let me take my knife. Okay, first let's... Uh, okay, remove this uh, plastic papers. Okay, the black color. Okay. Okay, the boxing is which is same as the Latipanda 3 Delta board. Yeah, I, I, I have the Latipanda 3 Delta. I think the same uh, design they have for this one also. Okay, let's open. Okay, they have the engrave of this uh, weather station here. Okay, I think. Okay, let's uh, open. Okay. Let's open and see what is inside this box. So first we have the user manual, okay, so they have uh, both uh, Chinese as well as the English version, so in bottom you can see the English versions. So you can, uh, so we need computers, so we need 5 volt adapters, okay, let's see how we can uh, use this one, let's put this aside, and, ah, okay. So inside this first you can see the weather station kit. Let me remove this one and inside you can see the qualification sheet as well as uh, the mounting kit to mount the uh, temp the kit. So let's put this aside. Then we have the USB cable as well as uh, the, the connectors to connect the external sensors to this one so okay then we have this uh weather station kit as well as the uh the wing to for the to measure the wind speed and direction and yeah i think that's all we have in this one so let's put this box aside let's uh open let's see what is this okay okay so this is to measure the speed okay let's lock okay so we have the compass in the top and we have this uh, one and uh, i think uh, we can remove this bottom one okay uh, yeah right so we have to connect uh, uh yes so this is where we have to connect then let's uh, mount the tripod. Okay, let's mount the tripod and let's open this one. Yeah, okay. So we, you can see this thing. So that's me. Okay, so it's king. Okay, so let's see what is the other thing we have. So let me remove the mount okay so let's see how we can uh, okay we have the USB-C interface let's plug this to our uh, computer and see what's okay let me plug the type C yeah you can see there is some lights is indicating and let me show you the other screen Okay, so this is the screen. Let me open my file explorer. Ah, okay. So it's that automatically created this uh, open this USB drive. So inside this, uh, you can see the Excel file. So let's open this uh, Excel. Let's see what is inside this one. Yeah, you can see there is some logs. I think uh, it's from the factory side. They have the wind speed, wind direction, altitude. Pressure, temperature, humidity. Okay, so let's uh, close. 
okay let's see what is inside this config and other files so let's right click let's open the notepad and you can see yeah, okay we have the error logs those things and uh, let's see the config file so yeah okay so this config will contain the configuration of this uh, module so you can see we have this uh, uh, we have this two uh, we have the i2c and the uart interface right so this config file controls whether you, whether the default communication is i2c or uart and the sampling time so whether we want to record the file or not then the delay then the light and uh, the low power so let's on the light so where the light is on let's on the light and see how it is working so let's just save this one okay i just saved uh, this file okay so once i saved uh, let me close everything okay then just uh, eject this one okay now let's uh, remove the cable from the board then uh, let me connect it to the power supply okay now i just connected the power supply so you can see it is uh, so you can see it is this green light is giving which means ah okay so this is the light which we turned on now the light is turned on okay now the light will be always on okay now i think it's taking the measurements okay let's wait uh, until it's do some measurements so let's wait for uh, 30 seconds yeah, okay so let's uh, okay let's let's unplug this from the power board and uh, let's connect it to our computer okay now we can see it's yellow color so yeah okay now it's giving something let's open the ah uh, okay everything okay let's open the file manager ah okay you can see the oh i think uh, we just removed ah, okay this is the latest one you can see right 2023 7 actually i just updated the time of uh, for this lot registration using this config file so how to update the time now just go to this uh, notepad so just go open the file and after this you have to enter the line called that time so you have to add this uh, particular portion you have to use this syntax the time you have to put quote and you have to mention the time date and time then you just uh, put it in the config file then just uh, connect the sensor to the power board then wait for a certain time it will automatically uh, the system will automatically take the time and it will update the file uh, time so you can see now it is uh, 2020.7.24 uh, which means it, it's taking the wrong but i but i tried to update this one but it is working so you can see i just use the default one which is from the wiki page and it's it's using the correct one Okay, now the current temperature is 35 and the pressure is uh, 956 pH and you can see the humidity level, altitude, everything. So this is how you can use this sensor uh, for the being, uh, for the getting started with can sensor. So later I can show you how to use the sensor with uh, other controllers and how to create uh, 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 the cellular controlled uh, weather station and uh, some other projects. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, please leave us a comment and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more awesome videos. Thank you. Bye.